I know it's normally good practice to actually finish a book before reviewing it, but but I just couldn't wait because I've been reading Circe by Madeline Miller. Madeline? 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 I'm about halfway through, roughly, very roughly, maybe. But I just had to talk about it because it's just so good. Now, I guess I shouldn't call this a review because like I said, I haven't actually finished it yet. So I guess it's, it's just my thoughts so far. Now, I'm, I'm fairly familiar with the story of the Odyssey. I studied it at A-level, but I suppose that was at least 10 years ago now. I've read bits and pieces of it since then. And as far as I remember, the way Circe is portrayed in the Odyssey, it's fairly one-dimensional. She's really presented as just another obstacle for Odysseus to overcome. And I think Circe, after keeping him as a sex slave for 10 years, ends up feeling a bit bad for him and lets him go home to his family. Spoilers. <laughs> It's about 4,000 years old, but you know. Now, what I've loved so much about, about Circe is how it's actually a very modern story, but which feels very true to the Odyssey in the sense that it feels like it's written in the same language. And what I really mean by that is that there's a tendency in a lot of modern writing to be very Hemingway-esque in, in how they write and be very stripped down, very simple, to the point. I really love that though as well. I, I Don't get me wrong, I love that kind of thing. But this isn't afraid to be kind of quite floral with its language. That's one of the things I've loved so much about it. But when I say it's still very modern, it's very modern in the sense of how it's structured. I could be wrong, because I've only, like I said, I'm halfway through. But in my mind, it's structured as a character study of how Circe became who she is in the Odyssey. It focuses a lot on her relationships with, with men. One of my favorite things is the father-daughter relationship between Circe and Helios, the Titan of the Sun. Now you get the impression that Helios is this untouchable figure. He's more than a god, he's a titan. And the way he's always described is he's kind of on a different level to everyone else in the room. He's almost elemental. And then Cersei's born and she's kind of the ugly duckling of the family and her brothers and sisters all take the mick out of her and her parents even take the mick out of her. They're quite abusive to her really. But Cersei is in awe of her father and she spends all of her time at his feet just hoping to be allowed to go with him on his chariot. It's a very one-sided relationship. Helios never shows any kind of affection towards her at all. I'm not going to go too far into specifics of the story because I don't want to ruin it for people. Really my main point is that it's told a very modern story but without losing that classical flair of those old tales and myths. I guess I'm kind of late on board with Circe. I think it came out this time last year maybe but I'm definitely gonna check out her other book, The Song of Achilles, after after this one, because this is just really good. I've got to go meet my partner for lunch, so see you in a bit. Outside. So yeah, I know Circe has been the, the big book of the year, I think, so far. I've seen really good reviews of it. I didn't see any reviews before I started reading it though, which I was, I'm really glad about. I literally just saw the cover 
and re and recognised the name from the Odyssey and just started reading it. So yeah, I hope I haven't gone into too much unnecessary detail about the plot and story. I just wanted to like talk about a couple of things which had really struck me um, recently while reading it. If anyone else out there is currently reading it or has already read it, then let me know what you think. Do you agree with the things I said? I hope they made some kind of sense. I tend to ramble sometimes. Look at these flowers outside, look, hang on. Look at these flowers. Look at these purple flowers. Isn't that nice? Wow. Now, if you don't already, you should subscribe to this channel because I want to make more videos. Not just these kind of videos, but also more kind of like experimental little videos. Mainly these kind of things though, because I think this is good. Also follow me on Instagram because I tend to put stuff up every day on stories and things. There's a nice community of writers and readers and things on there, which is really cool. And I've just made a Patreon account, which is very exciting. The links to all these things are below. And if you want to see some more professional reviews of Circe or find out where you can get it, just give it a Google. <laughs> so thank you for watching and goodbye. Ah.